Or from Hannah, you won't be, you will find someone. From Jake, no, I won't. I don't want no one else. I want you. Hannah made it clear a reconnection was not in the cards. From Hannah, I don't want to be with you. You hurt me. Ohio BCI analyst Julia Eveslage read dozens of similar conversations for jurors who will decide the guilt or innocence of Jake Wagner's brother, George. Prosecutors say certain messages indicate Hannah was fearful of Jake. From Hannah, I don't want to be with someone whom I'm scared of that you will lay your damn hands on me again. Investigators say Jake and George and their parents, Billy and Angela Wagner, executed a plan in April 2016 to kill Hannah Roden and seven of her family members because of a custody dispute involving Jake and Hannah's daughter. Shortly before their daughter's birth, Jake sent this ominous message. From Jake, Hannah, I'm telling you right now, Make a choice and make it now. I'll take Sophie, and if I have to, by force. Out of the view of the jury, an attorney for George Wagner argued against introducing the messages as evidence. Judge, my client's name is not mentioned once. Say it again. My client's name is not mentioned one time. Earlier today, jurors heard more evidence about bullets and internet searches that raised investigators' eyebrows. It would be the night before a grand jury proceedings where somebody uh, searched the penalty for lying during grand jury or lying to BCI. Also today, the jury saw items that BCI agents bought to reconstruct the Pike County massacre. That included two Walmart brand athletic shoes that investigators think Jake and George wore at the crime scenes. A receipt for those shoes was found in a storage trailer used by the Wagners. Reporting live tonight here in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Todd, thank you so much for trial that